So the benefits to you as a marketing professional is that you have the ability of being a star in your company. Right now, organizations are looking to do more with less, and a virtual event allows you to do that. So by taking advantage of the opportunity, by being the first out there, because it is pretty new, uh, but at the same time, even though it's new, there's a tremendous amount of excitement and enthusiasm going on around virtual events. So by you being the person to introduce it into your company, you have the opportunity of separating yourself and really making a difference in your own company. So to get executive buy-in, you need to identify, first of all, what the executives are looking for. So what are the hot buttons of the executives in the marketing program that we're trying to put together? Now I can tell you one without thinking too hard that is on every executive's mind and that is reducing cash, reducing expenses. So obviously a virtual event either on its own or in conjunction with a physical event allows you to reach more people for a lot less money. So that's one hot button that we know out of the gate will automatically get attention with your executive team. Other uh, items that you that can take advantage of would be the extended reach. Uh, obviously by reaching more people, uh, using the internet, using a virtual event uh, is going to be a hot button for a lot of people. Um, and then of course there's going green. So every company today and every individual really does want to help the environment and virtual events are absolutely one of the tools that you can use today to help the environment because we don't really reduce travel, we eliminate travel. And then I'd say one other hot button that you might find is the ability to capture all the information. So there are a lot of executives that want to spend a lot of money on projects but are very um, concerned about doing it without actually knowing what the real results of a marketing program or an event are going to be. In a virtual environment, because of its nature, the fact that it's digital, we capture everything that's going on in an event. Whether somebody comes to the event, how long they spend, what they do, uh, we're then able to take that information and then categorize the leads or the people coming into the event as whether they're an A-type lead, a B-type lead, a C-type lead. So I would say to summarize, the cost is a hot button, the extended reach is a hot button, the ability to capture all the data and provide real good ROI information, and then finally going green. I would say those are the things that are going to get the attention of the executives in your company. I believe that the most important thing to be aware of when starting or planning a virtual event is to realize that a virtual event is in fact an event. So most of the components of a physical event have to be addressed when producing a virtual event. So things like the strategy behind the event, planning the event, the event content, all of that needs to be taken into account. And in my experience, most people who look at a virtual event tend to shortchange the amount of work and resources that need to go into the upfront planning and preparation. And by the way, if you do that well, it'll automatically put the right resources in place. It'll automatically put the right lead time in place. A lot of that happens automatically. The other thing that I think is a, a key thing to keep in mind is that everything, the success of the event really depends upon a couple of factors. The engagement, the educational experience, the interaction, the networking. So by focusing on those four things up front and making sure that everything that you're putting in, all the content that you're using, all the Web 2.0 technologies you're using, all need to be aimed at addressing those characteristics. And if you address those, you're bound to have a very successful virtual event.